Hello, okay, so this week I am taking a short break from my big project. I've been feeling a little bit burnt out because all I've been doing is sitting there watching the embroidery machine and like digitizing stuff and it gets kind of tedious. So I thought I would take a short break to work on a different project that I really wanted to get started on. So I've been wanting to do a series where I try various corset patterns because I love making corsets, I love wearing corsets and corsets are very popular on the internet. So I thought it would be fun to try out various corset patterns that are available either for free or for purchase. I've done a few that are purchased corset patterns or I guess stays patterns from Red Threaded and then from like the big four patterns like Simplicity. Oops. There are a lot of really good free corset patterns on the internet so I thought I would start this whole series off with a free corset pattern from RNA Black and she offers a whole variety of free corset patterns that look great. She is super informative and really willing to share knowledge on corsets just for free on the internet, which I think is great. I think we should all be doing that. So I wanted to try one of her corset patterns out, so I will be doing that. I, think I also want to branch into making corsets or stays from the patterns of fashion books and then from just general, like there's so many different corset patterns available. I thought it would be really good to have a series on making these, showing the different fit issues and like other issues that I come up with, and then also um, showing how they look on a person. Obviously, it's gonna look different no matter what body it is on, but this can kind of give an idea of what it would look like on a person since it's kind of hard to tell when it's just on paper or in a picture. Uh, that's my general plan for the rest of my life is to keep making these courses. But for this time, I wanted to uh, make something that was a little bit different from what I've normally made. It's a little bit less uh, cute fantasy, like the witch or the fairy that I made, and it's a little bit more like tough girl fantasy, I guess. <laughs> I've been super inspired by the artist I Do Declare on Instagram. I'll drop their link down in the description box and also show you some of the pictures that I've been inspired by, but I've been really inspired by the collaboration specifically between I Do Declare and Lisbeth Arab. Roberts. I think that's how you pronounce your name. The stuff that they've come up with is very beautiful. It's moody and it's kind of like corsetry as armor or like soft wearable armor pieces that are a little bit more wearable for daily, I guess, than uh, the metal kind of armor. So I've been really fascinated by that. So for this project, I was really inspired by this kind of night core aesthetic and soft wearable armor. And when I was in Chicago a few weeks ago, I thought I'd look for fabric. So I found a metallic gold and a metallic silver like silk taffeta and i thought those would work really well for this project this one i'm going to be using the gold and i have a plan for it i didn't do a rendering i'll probably do a rendering for the next one but i think generally i'm going to fuse together a couple of rna blacks corset patterns she's got a neck corset and then she's got a full over bust corset i think those two will look really cool together as well as making some gauntlets so that's my general plan <laughs> all right let's get started let's look at the pattern I'm using a pattern from Aranea Black and it's one of her free patterns. This is the Sylvia. The preliminary alterations that I've made have just been to shorten it a bit because I don't want it to go all the way through like the middle hip and sit really low. I want it to be pretty high up, almost waist height, but not quite. I left about an inch and a half past the waist measurement just so I have that extra space while I'm doing the mock-up. And if I decide that I want it to be shorter, then I can just make it shorter. But that's pretty much it. I have one yard exactly. And I have, I think, found a way to fit everything on here. This is the main corset pattern plus the neck corset. Plus I want to make a little armband. So we'll see if I end up having enough fabric for that. But this is what I'm going to be doing. And yeah, let's, let's go on to mock-up because I really don't want to screw this up since I don't have any extra fabric. So my hair is a mess, sorry about that, but 
I think it fits pretty well. The top is far too big. Um, so that's gonna need to come in a bit. If I grab the back here and make it so that I'm pulling maybe an inch out of the top here, like that. Uh, it's like obviously making all of this wrinkle sadly, but uh, I'm gonna be adding more bones to it. But if I take a bunch out of the top here, then that seems to make the front fit a lot better. So I think that will work. I think also it's too high. So I think maybe I'm a lot more short-waisted than she is. If I do that, I think that does look a lot better is if I just take like an inch out of the each side. Maybe more than that even. Uh, it looks like it's about an inch. It goes about to halfway between where that bone is and where the center back is, I think. So I'll have to take that much out, but I can probably take it out of a combination of the back, uh, these seams here. Yeah, about halfway between the seam and the back. So I'm gonna need to take quite a bit out of just the top, I think. And that can probably partially come out of these seams a little bit because they are traveling pretty far to the side and then out of the back seams. Let me try this with cutlets if I can get away with not doing so much. <laughs> well, that's definitely quite a bit more cleavagey, and that does fit the, my bust a lot better. Um, so maybe that's more what I'll do is add the cutlets. Um, but I think I still do want to take some out of the back, which is, I think, not a huge deal. And I like the length and the shape that this is giving me. I think it looks really cute. Um, I might add a little bit extra underneath to just, I don't know, make more flare. I think the waist looks pretty much how I want it to. I might want this to extend down just a tiny bit more. I don't know, I kind of like it where it is though. The side looks really good. It's quite a bit of wrinkling, but I only put bones uh, in the middle of each panel. I haven't put bones on the seams because it makes it more annoying to take all of that stuff out once I'm taking the mock-up apart. So I will be adding bones to all the seams. But I think the waist and the like, the flare out here looks really good. So I'm happy with it. It's mostly just the bust. So all in all, fairly good. It's a very cute pattern. I really like it. So let me put this on. Already that's looking a little bit more armor-like and less corset-like, so that's cool. My plan is to have chains connecting the gorget to the corset. And I think that'll look really cool and give it just like a little bit more interest here. Uh, yeah. And then I'm hoping to make matching armbands as well. We'll see. We'll see how long these alterations take. They shouldn't take too long. I've already had to take a full inch off the top of the neck corset because my neck is very short. So if I have things that are really high up, it kind of just cuts my neck off and looks really bad. So I always have to have a little bit of my neck showing here. Um, but generally, like, I hate wearing turtlenecks because of this, but my neck is really short. So anything that like goes up around my neck, if you take this off, like it doesn't even look like it goes really up my neck. It's like an inch. Um, and <laughs> the pattern was very tight and might fit people with long model necks, but I do not have a long model neck. I've got a very short neck. So we shortened that a little bit to make it fit my neck better. But other than that, I think that it fits really well and I like how it looks a lot. So I think I'm just gonna keep it how it is for the most part. I'm gonna start on the alterations and then actually cutting everything and then we are getting everything together. I'm really trying to finish this in one day. We'll see, it might not get done in one day, but all right, let's go alter stuff. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm just gonna take an inch off of the top of all of these because that was my first adjustment that I made. And that's the only alteration for the next piece. I'm kind of guessing at where I want this to come off of. This one seems like it comes out kind of awkwardly at the back there, so I knew I could take that off very easily. I 
decided to take it off of the side front bust a little bit between the front side and back middle. I don't, I don't this is going to be the side seam between these two, so I've decided that I do not want to alter the side seam at all. Eh, I could actually. Um, but mostly I want to pull all of this forward a little bit. I did want to take it off of the back some because back pieces usually are always a little bit too big for me in the upper back, I guess, just because that is something that tends to happen with me on patterns. So I knew I wanted to take some of that out, but I want to also take a little bit of the bust area in just because uh, it like it fit better with the cutlets. So that indicates that the bust is a little bit too big. <laughs> Okay, so that's so far three quarters of an inch. I want to take it all a full inch or take it in a full inch through the chest area. So because this closed all the way and I don't want it to close quite all of the way so that if I do end up losing some weight then I it still fits me like if I gain weight right now then it will still fit me because it closes all the way and I have some space for it to expand but if I lose weight then I don't have any space for it to keep going because it's already meeting in the back so I want to take some off of this back piece so that it does not just meet in the back so I think I'll just take off a half an inch straight off the center back since it's, that's what I want is there to be a lacing gap so now I can do all of that So total, uh, because there are, let's see, five seams. There's five seams plus the center back that I took off of. I didn't take any off of the side seam. So that's a half inch that I took off of every single seam because, you know, quarter off of each side. So half inch here, half inch here, half inch here, and half inch here, and nothing here. So half, one inch, one and a half, two inches total, plus the half inch for the gap in the back, and I think that should be good. That was about how much I was grabbing out of the back when I was trying to pull it taut, and I said it would be about halfway between the center back and this seam here, so that's about two inches, and I've spread it across the whole bust because, you know, that is better than having it really unbalanced towards the front or the back. Um, I didn't take it off the side seam at all because I want the side seam to kind of stay where it is. That's, that's it for alterations. We can start cutting now, yay! For my cotillier, I am just going to be taking apart the mock-up and recutting it to match this since everything got smaller and nothing got bigger. I have mentioned in previous videos that I don't love this cotille that I'm using, but I think that because this is supposed to be kind of armor looking, that this will actually work pretty well. I mentioned that I don't like it because it's kind of stiff and papery feeling and it's just, it doesn't have that like nice soft but firm kind of thing going that most Cotille does. Uh, this is from Farthingales. I love their website and I love a lot of stuff that I get from them. They're the only company that sells bone tipping pliers, I guess. So like they do have a lot of great stuff, but their Cotille is not one of their great things. I prefer to get Cotille from other places. So I'm just going to take this part and use this as the Cotille layer underneath, like the Cotille support layer for the fashion fabric.
Okay, let's discuss. It's been a few days since Katakan and since I made this costume, so I just wanted to chat about it pretty quickly. But I'm really happy with how this all turned out. Uh, oh, just a quick aside about Katakan. I had decided not to go, and I didn't go for most of the weekend. I did decide to just go for a couple hours on Sunday after most of the con festivities had ended and most people had gone home. I did a quick shoot with a friend outside and then spent just an hour inside with masks and very far distance from everybody so I don't want anyone to worry. I took a lot of precautions and I am also gonna be making sure that I test negative throughout the next few days. But I did decide to go just for a couple hours because it's pretty close to where I live and I didn't want anyone to worry about me being there full time. I was not there the whole time. <laughs> but on to the discussion about the project, I'm very happy with it. I think it turned out similarly to my inspiration of I Do Declare's uh, line of like soft wearable armor. However, I am happy that I was able to put my own twist on it. So I uh, took a lot of time looking at their designs and seeing what I could do to make it look inspired by but not copied directly because that's something that I really don't want to do is I don't want to copy their designs directly I feel like they're their their designs so if I wanted to have their designs I should purchase them if they're available I'm not sure if they're still available but I wanted to make it so that it was very much could be part of that line but was not a direct copy. For my research process for this project I made a Pinterest board and I took a look at a lot of pictures of metal armor and from there I decided to take some of the elements of that metal armor and then some of the elements of I Do Declare's soft wearable armor. Ended up looking at a lot of different reference pictures and deciding that I wanted the kind of cut in sweetheart neckline of the corset. I also, that was just the corset that I found, so I wanted to use it without too many alterations to the aesthetic of the corset, if that makes sense. And I wanted it to also be kind of like chainmail without having to make a bunch of chainmail. So that was why I added all the chains. I was very skeptical of it at first during my fitting and when I was trying it on without the chemise, it all ended up looking a little too sexy and Wonder Woman-like, but once I had the chemise and and the skirt on then I think that really helped blend the whole look together and made it a little bit less sexy looking uh, also if you want to see how I made the chemise and the skirt those are in my witch series I did make everything I was wearing and I will also be putting out a video eventually not for the specific crown that I was wearing in this shoot but for a different one that I want to make later the only qualms that I had with this whole project. I was rushing so hard to get this done and I also didn't quite have enough fabric so I took quite a few shortcuts and I wish I did not have to take the shortcuts but you know that's life sometimes. So because I didn't quite have enough fabric I accidentally forgot to cut one of the pieces and then I had to kind of like stitch together a bunch of scraps to make one piece of fabric large enough to cut the missing piece out. Thankfully it was one of the neck pieces and it was the smallest of the neck pieces so it ended up being okay. It's not super noticeable and I think it looked just fine. So if you notice it in the video let me know <laughs> in the comments and I don't know you win a prize or something. The other thing is that I am all out of black cotille. I would have really preferred to make this out of black cotille, but because I'm completely out, I made it out of white cotille, which means that you can kind of see the white edges along the edge of the collar and along the lower edge hem of the corset. Not cute, don't like it. That was also why I put a chain along the bottom hem of the neck collar. If I were to do it again, I would just go and purchase some black oteal, but I this was a last minute project, so I had to work with what I had, and because of that, you can kind of see the white coteal sometimes. Not a huge fan, don't love it. Um, it's mostly not a problem because most of the edges are bound, but because I only had a yard of the fabric and I was completely out, I didn't have any long enough strips to bind the lower edge of the neck collar, which would have resolved that issue because then like the binding would go all the way around and you wouldn't see that edge where the two pieces of fabric come together. Just a lot of unfortunate things coming together to make some details that I don't personally really like on this corset. But I am really happy with how it turned out for like a day and a half build. I think that mm, with my time limitations, if I had had more time to do it, it would look better. Definitely. That's the case with most projects. But because I was on such a limited time, I decided literally the Thursday before Katsukan that I was going to be making this. So I had Friday and then Saturday we had friends over for a big photo shoot and then I had Sunday morning before we went to Katsukan. So I had Friday and half of Sunday to get this all done. And 
you know, I did. That was fitting included, so <laughs> um, I'm pleased that it turned out how it did, even with some of the details that I'm not a huge fan of. I really like the whole set together. I think that the corset and the neck collar worked really well together and separately they don't really look like armor but I think when they're joined together with the chains and everything it does help it look a lot more like armor than just kind of like a corset made in fancy fabric and I like the gauntlets as well. I think I want to add chains to those in the future but you know I was strapped for time so they are what they are and I'm happy with them. That's pretty much it. If you have corset patterns that you'd like me to try out and review in a future video whether that is a pay pattern or a free pattern I am more likely to get to it sooner if it's a free pattern but you know uh, let me know in the comments I would be happy to do it RNA black makes really good patterns like they're great I would highly recommend them it was easy to work with because there were so many seams it was really easy to just shave a little bit off of each one to make the whole thing a little bit smaller which made it so that the shape wasn't affected at all by like taking a whole bunch off of one seam it was a pain for how much sewing it involved but it made it really easy to alter so would definitely recommend her patterns i think she did a really good job and she like they're beautiful patterns so yes would recommend we'll hopefully be trying more of hers in the future and that's all i got if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions comments concerns any corsets you want me to try out in the future any patterns generally you'd like me to test out in the future i can't promise that i'll definitely get to all of them but if there's something that i want to make anyways then you know i love having pattern suggestions i'd love to try them out and if you want to see the rest of my videos then please subscribe i hope to see you in the next one okay bye